Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And, uh, well, as you can see here, I I'm pretty sure you read the name of the video, but as you can see here, I got a little, little thing going on here. And now, this is one thing I'm going to explain. In order to get the axis of what you've built, I had to make it so it checks one by one around the area, or around the node, your central node. As you can see, I've got a bigger portal right here, and if I right-click, it'll create a little portal. Now, this is, you're able to build any kind of shape, anything you want. I've got to figure out how to create... Oh, God, that is so loud. Let me actually turn it down a little bit. I've got to, uh... got to figure out how to make it so centralized, or nodes, or all the nodes, the filler nodes, that's what I'm trying to say have a destination point. That's the only thing. I gotta figure out how to write it. So you can create a destination point, a trigger, and uh, things like that. And uh, so far I've got the item, which is a stick, and I've got Mies, which is all around here. And if we just right click this, we get a giant portal. And this will work with most shapes, uh, even if it doesn't work, even if you, I don't know, say you wanna have a, well let's put some Mickey Mouse ears on this thing I guess. Just kind of do this or something. And now we're going to do this. Oh, right, right, right. You've got to have it at least three nodes at the base. Otherwise, it can't check for axis. And I, that was very important. I needed to do that so it didn't try to check a bunch of nodes because it, it, these portals can be huge. And uh, now you've got a portal with a, a tail or something, or it looks like a something. That's what that, that's for sure. But yeah, like in Minecraft, you can uh, you can create big ass portals, and it's it's fun. I uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to create like like if you want thinner portal things, like the portal filler. You're gonna have to, or no, well, not you, but I'm gonna have to uh, figure out how to create thin portals that are uh, that work by the axis because with wide nodes or full block nodes or full node nodes I guess you could say it works perfectly yeah, it works great if I do a uh, do a little thing down here I guess you can call this and it works one important thing I'm going to say about it is you've also going to make sure your bottom node is adjacent to the highest node on the top. So if I I build up right here, and just create like a little design, I guess. There you go, beautiful. And if I start here, oh wait, I can't even start there because it's not three wide. But if I start here and I do it like this, it will not fill up the whole thing. And that is a problem, yes. It is an obvious problem. I, I'm not really sure how to fix it. This is a very simple API. But yeah, I mean, you can just kind of do this. Beautiful. And yeah, it works for both axes. Uh, you could probably modify the code to intersect. In fact, let's do that right now. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, wait a second. I wrote it to, uh, to do one axis at a time. So yeah, you can't really do that. I'm sure someone will modify it so you can create giant cross-secting freaking portal things. But yeah, I mean, what you could do for now is just kind of like this. Make a portal room. And yeah, it'll be nice to see the portals actually actually working once I get it working. Yeah, you get a little portal and there's a second portal. And go through it. Oh well, we well, can't because I'm in no clip mode. But yeah, it's it's pretty fun. I I like this little mod that I made. And uh, yeah, let's see. I don't think I'm gonna create floor portals, even though that would be nice. Well, you know, I'm, I might as well. I might as well. I I might do that right after this video. Actually, if you look at the GitHub, might be some changes. I don't know. I'll probably make a video later on on it. I might make it so you can use signs, the sign library, etc, etc. 
you have some waypoints or coordinates or something like that or if you click if you put like wild or like a sector of the map or something I don't know there's so much I could do with this mod it's it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous I don't know how I'm gonna make it check for a player being inside of it I think I'm gonna have the filler nodes be ABMs have them check if you are inside that's that's about all I can think about maybe some well definitely some some filler node particles and stuff uh, the thing I like the, about this one versus the one in Minecraft is that in Minecraft you really can't do this it's kind of kind of irritating but create single portals that you can just essentially just walk into and that's great if you're limited with resources and I just delete these little nodes right here create a portal using only six nodes which is fantastic oh wait a second I lied make that I can count today make that eight yeah well that's that's a little bit better I'm pretty sure in Minecraft the, like, the smallest you can do is ten nodes or ten blocks in Minecraft yeah it's a little saver of resources you uh hide the base underground it's creating a whole thing right here you hide the base underground you can just walk straight into it if you wanted to you can create bill cipher out of this it's beautiful look at that there we go just hide this little stuff right here and uh yeah like i said make sure that the node you click on is adjacent to or on the same z and x axis as the tallest node and your portal will come out fine and yeah you get a little little cipher right there <laughs> let's give him a little hat oh oh god beautiful this is just beautiful look at this oh my goodness i forgot to fly beautiful <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's let's create the max. Max you can go with this. I'm pretty sure this one's almost maxed out. Let me look at the code. You can create them 30 high and 30 wide, which is 15 past the uh, past the center. So start right here, and then 15 out. This is one 15. Blah blah. I think you get it. I don't know how much more I could explain it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's about all I got for now. I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what I can do with this mod if uh, if it gets incorporated into like nether something or heaven something like that that'd be cool but uh yeah that's all I got for now guys thanks for watching and uh, you can check out the description if you want to check out this mod so uh yeah I'll see you guys later